Today we're going to be looking at an indie title developed by Lars Antonio, published in 2021 by Annapurna Interactive, 12 Minutes. This is Chris at Talent Gaming, let's get to it. 12 Minutes is a time-looping, top-down, real-time interactive thriller and puzzle game, reminiscent of the movie Groundhog Day starring Bill Murray. The game features voice acting by A-list stars James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, and Willem Dafoe, who help breathe life into this story. This is a single player game with no DLC or expansion content available and is rated Mature 17 Plus. System requirements ask for Windows 7 or newer, a quad core CPU, 2 gigs of RAM and any mid tier graphics card made in the last 10 years. For an optimal experience, 4 gig of RAM and a GTX 1080 or RX 5700 XT is recommended. You also need about 2 gigs of free storage. The game starts with the protagonist's husband coming home from work to spend a nice quiet evening with his beautiful wife. She's made a nice dessert for the both of you, has a special surprise and perhaps some dancing to your favorite song. Until you're interrupted by a detective who claims your wife has murdered her own father. A failed explanation and attempt at protecting your wife ends with a brutal beatdown and your untimely demise. And then you wake up having just come home from work, startled, lost and confused as to what just happened. This is 12 Minutes. The clock here ticks by in real time and starts over any time you die or try to leave. You're stuck in the apartment and in this nightmare with no hope of escape. The shining anyone? You must learn as much as possible through each passing loop to try and break free. You'll work through puzzles filled with seemingly innocuous items, imagery and dialogue. You must use these experiences to further open avenues of exploration until the story slowly unravels before you. As it twists and turns over on itself, you come to believe that you have it all figured out. But do you really? More than just a puzzle game, 12 minutes is full of brutality, blood and gore. I was really surprised at just what was possible and, since you can't really lose here, be sure to try everything at least once. Death is never the end. Ah, Jesus, fuck, fuck. I don't think this one was ever truly meant to compete with AAA experiences graphically, but it looks decent nonetheless. The textures are okay, animations are simple but look fairly realistic and the few cutscenes also play out nicely. Sound effects are good but simple, background ambiance is good, especially the thunderstorm going on outside. I also really like the inclusion of sound from outside the apartment helping to provide a little more dimension to the experience. Come on, I know you're home, open the door. The limited music is very good, pianos and classical music taking center stage. <laughs> Voice acting is excellent, of course. It was done by experienced professional Hollywood actors. Great choices, by the way. The story is quite well put together. It's weaved through experiencing the game through many loops, handed out in small snippets while slowly exposing the entire canvas. It comes together nicely and makes sense, albeit a little perplexing at times as you'll be second guessing what you've already learned. The twists and turns the game takes really keep you on your toes and wanting to keep playing. The game features a simple point and click interface. You can drag items from your inventory onto people, places or things to make them interact or combine together. You're also meant to learn something in each loop that can apply to future attempts. You also can't really lose. You have the freedom to try everything, even if it sounds like a really bad idea. Ah, uh -uh. no playing dumb. Tell me where the 12 minutes should take between 5 and 7 hours to complete, depending on how much you've explored and how you went about things. There are multiple endings and scenarios to explore as well as ways to complete the game so there's some limited replayability here. I think this would be a great game to come back to after a few months or even a year later to give another go rather than playing back to back. The game places you in your worst nightmare and is very interesting all around. It can be a little repetitive if you're just randomly clicking around without purpose but once you settle into the game you'll truly enjoy it. If you're an indie fan or just like quirky and interesting games that break the mold, you're going to love 12 minutes. I know I did. As always, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, you know what to do. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing out.